Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, right here behind me, I'm building this uh, enclosed trailer. And well, I'm actually not building, I'm converting it to a toy hauler. It's uh, It's been quite the experience so far. But anyways, today we're gonna go in depth on the electrical system that I've created in here. I've got all kinds of cool stuff. I have a pure sine wave power inverter. I got a converter, transfer switch, six volt batteries, a 12 volt battery, charge controller, and then various breakers and fuses and trinkets. So uh, let's go check it out. So on this unit right here, everything that has to do with the power, including, well, basically everything I just mentioned is inside my cargo door on the front. That way it's all in one spot, easy to access. And, uh, and then it was centrally located to run the wires down. So part of the reason I did it there is because the solar panel wires were only so long and they reached perfectly to the batteries. So that worked out good, but. Here is my electrical system. Now, these two taller batteries right here are your, the six volts. They're wired in series to make 12 volts. This is just a standard 12 volt lead acid battery. These are wired in series, so that means you hook a positive to a negative on one side and that will create 12 volts instead of six volts. Um, and then I also have, these ones are in series and then these ones as one battery right here is in parallel with this 12 volt battery. So that's why you have a positive to a positive, negative to a negative. Now, this wire right here goes to my inverter. So that runs up, connects onto the back there. Same thing with the positive. Now, these two wires right here run over here up to my solar charge controller. So that's telling me the volts and the temperature. Um, these two thick wires right here are the solar panel input batteries, so, or batteries. These are the solar panel input wires. This is just temporary, but I have my lights in here. So I had this LED light strip. Bought that on Amazon. Oh, that's trashy. Jeez, dude, put all the screws in before you make a video about it. Dang. Anyways, I just have it run into here because this has a switch on it. This is the brand of my inverter, Giandel or some crap like that. It's a 2200 watt continuous power, 4400 watt surge power. I got the pure sine wave power inverter because these will run stuff more efficiently. Um, a modified sine wave inverter probably would have worked just fine, but I'm going to be running an air conditioner swamp cooler thing off of this, and I didn't want to have it wasting more power. so. That's why I went with this one. It just happened to use have a charge controller built in. Um, I didn't use it yet, but anyways, it's there, kind of cool. To turn it on, basically you just hit that right there. That's gonna cycle through, it'll tell you the output. So 12.6 volts, and there's no output right now, so. So this is the converter. Now you can just buy these on Amazon. They are standard and basically all RVs these days. They do not come with these breakers right here, which allows you to put in whatever size you need. For me, I went with the 20 amp right here. This will power my AC, and that's the only thing that's on it. And then I did a double breaker. One actually just goes to this converter because with the way that I have it wired right now, if you were to turn this inverter on with the converter on right here, it would try to charge the batteries off of the inverter which is running off of the battery so it create um, basically like an infinite loop just wasting power so you got to make sure you have a way to turn this off and then this is basically all my other plugs all right so if you look right here I have a couple of fuses these go to the 12 volt accessories in my trailer I don't have them listed I can't even remember what one is what but if it blows out you only have four options so figure it out that way this is a 25 amp power converter I can't remember how much it'll charge the batteries. It's only like a couple of amps, um, but yeah. So there's that. Right here we have the automatic transfer switch. This basically will just transfer. So if I was to plug in my trailer to shore power or the generator, the power will come up through this yellow wire right here, go down in, and then there's a switch, and it'll automatically transfer over and then come out this wire here. 
basically what happens if you have your trailer plugged in and then you turn the inverter on it'll transfer the power instead of using shore power it'll transfer it to the inverter power and that basically just allows you to not screw up majorly and fry something so it's kind of a safety thing kind of just like a nice uh, feature to have but I just got this on Amazon it's a south wire brand automatic transfer switch 30 amp um, I don't have anything else that's over 30 amps so I'm going with that. I got some of this wire this is 12 gauge three strand I bought this instead of the regular like um, Romex or that yellow or white wire because it looks better so got that Okay, and then I also have one of these. This is what's going to plug in my inverter into the power. So, yeah. Okay, so let me show you, show you guys the transfer switch in action here. So you turn on the inverter. This unit right here has a 40 second delay. There she kicked. So now the power's on. You can actually hear this humming. But uh, yeah, so now the plugs are powered up. Let's go check those out. Okay, so my TV right now is running completely off of the inverter. I have a 110 outlet right there, 110 outlet here for this little fan in the back of my heater there. I'm probably actually going to get rid of this heater because it's so unreliable. Like, seriously, you have good ventilation in here, so there's no like carbon monoxide issues or whatever, but this thing will just blow out like. You get it started after probably 10 minutes of trying to work with it and then it goes out but anyways that's another thing would not recommend not hot enough unreliable i have another plug right here this one i also got from amazon surprise surprise has two usb outlets i put it right here because i have a coffee maker that I set up here and then you can just run the cord down through and that is actually all of the 110 plugs that i have if you come right here, I got this little battery capacity indicator. Just snag that off Amazon. It tells you the voltage, and then it also tells you the percentage of charge. That's kind of nice to have. You can just click it and see what you're at. Then I have a USB outlet there. I have the remote switch to turn on my power inverter. So all you got to do is click that, and then it'll kick over the power inverter in there. And then this also is my turn on for my hot water heater with the gas and then the electric right there and then this is the water pump and this one doesn't go to anything for generator power I went with the old Predator 3500 you can pick this thing up from Harbor Freight usually about 700 bucks I think I got it for like 680 on some sort of sale but this thing is actually pretty dope I've been happy with it I actually haven't started it in a while so let's Let's give her a try here. Look at that. This thing is actually super quiet. I'm impressed with it. Um, when you're running a bit of power, like I had a, a space heater running inside, it will rev up and be louder, but for the most part, it's pretty good. For the electrical cord, I use this right here. It's a 30 amp twist lock. Bought that off Amazon. Plug that in there right over here here's my port also from Amazon um, let me find that cord and then we'll check it out now I have this adapter on here um, this is just for plugging it into the house but you could also this gets power it'll kick that transfer switch inside in the 12 volt system I have a light switch right here for the front bed area and then I have a triple light switch right here for the main lights outside lights and then rear lights in the bathroom area, I opted to go with no extra switch and just use these two right here on the light itself. Then right here, we have the fan. 
you can crank this up. This does forward and reverse, high, medium, low, and then just high and medium on reverse. So. For the fan in the rear of the trailer, I got a Fantastic brand fan, and this one has an automatic on feature, so that's kind of cool. Just crank it open, it automatically turns on. Okay, that's about all I have for you today in this episode. Now, if you guys have any specific questions regarding what I did in the trailer, electrical, or really anything else, feel free to hit me up in the comments. I'll answer all the questions you might have and uh, hopefully help you guys in your own build. And subscribe if you guys haven't already. Hit the notification bell, all that good stuff. If you want to, you don't have to. But anyways, thanks guys. Peace out.